Hello everybody, it is Corey from Gemini Guitar and we're back with some metal riffing today. This one is some what I've dubbed thrashy chop building. Okay, so the tuning I'm in is standard. The guitar I use is a DBZ Halcyon and as far as I know these are no longer available. It's a nice guitar, it's got EMG 8185 pickups in it which are of course active. It's very good for metal, it's not a very diverse guitar so I don't recommend it for anything outside of metal basically. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is starting off on the A stream. We're going to pick the 7th fret hammer to the 8th and pull to the 7th. And it's uh, just a little mini flurry if you like. And what we're going to be doing in between these flurries is the reverse gallop rhythm. Um, in actual fact, the reverse gallop rhythm is employed throughout, even with the uh, pick hammer pull sequence. But we're just varying that with the open 6th string. So in between we've got... So uh, we'll start with the first beat going... Then on the second and third beat we'll be going... So we get... And we're going to repeat what we began with in the beginning of the bar. So it's... What we're going to do from that point is shift into the next grouping. So that'll be the 5th and the 7th fret on the 5th string and in between again with the low 6th string. So there's a pattern and a theme occurring. This is bars 1 and 2. We're going to move then into the third position, so we're going to play fret 3, hammer to 5th and pull to 3rd. It's bar 3, and the same basic pattern after that. It's not too bad at the slower tempos. Once you get to the faster tempo, you really want to economise on the picking movement. And of course there's some uh, down picking to be done as well. So uh, you want to make sure that you're very economical with those down picks. Don't overdo it with the movement because then you won't be able to get quick enough um, to speed it up. So in the fourth bar we've got the first alternate ending and what we're doing here is we're going from the second to the third fret and back to the second. And then we've got a little scale sequence to do based on the, well, it's basically based on the G major scale. So we've got fifth, third, second, third, fifth on the sixth string, and then the second fret on the fifth string. So that whole bar will sound like this. Now as for the second alternate ending, we are descending exactly through a one octave G major scale. So that starts at the fifth fret on string four, and you're just going to proceed backwards through like this. Five, four, two on the fourth string. All palm muted, by the way. Then fifth, third, second on the fifth string. And fifth, third on the sixth string. So that bar will sound like this. Kind of sounds pretty happy for a metal song. Or a metal riff, to be more specific. Okay, so let's play through the whole thing in a slightly slower tempo and we'll see how we go. One, two, three, four. And I'm just standing on the low E power chord there. Okay, so that wraps things up for today's lesson. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out the website and the download store at GeminiGuitar.com.au and I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye for now.